Hey folks, while I am sure most of you guys know that it's almost always better to have a dedicated graphics card in your laptop than just having to rely on the puny integrated ones coming with modern CPUs, I'm looking at you Intel, we wanted to dive a little deeper into this topic today, especially for the aspiring creators amongst you guys. So we teamed up with Nvidia and Notebook Spilliger once more, and while the performance benefits for games are pretty obvious and easily measurable by comparing just how many frames you get, if you want to use your machine more for work than entertainment, the situation becomes a lot less clear. To do our tests today, I picked two NVIDIA Studio validated notebooks. The MSI Stealth 14 Studio can rely on Intel's Iris XEI GPU integrated in the i7 13700H beating at its heart, and Team Green's smallest mobile GPU, the RTX 4050. The ASUS RG Flow X13 on the other hand might benefit from the much faster 780M coming with Team Red's Ryzen 9 7940HS, but that one also goes against the RTX 4060. So if you are a student, just starting college or getting serious with your career and need a reliable notebook for your daily business and are simply overwhelmed with the options available, take a seat and grab a snack, this will get very interesting. To give you guys a good overview of what to expect and to make our data easily comparable, we relied on benchmarks for the most commonly used creative applications that we typically also use in some of our reviews. In addition, I will also touch on some more user experience related points, which are hard to convey with benchmark scores alone and more often than not can make or break your creator experience. So let's kick things off with my daily business as a video creator. As you may already be aware, we use Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve 18 for most of our video production, in combination with the 6K RAW files we get from our Pocket Cinema camera. Those are a lot easier to play back than more heavily compressed footage like you would get from popular Sony options or the like. But still, Resolve is a program that can use additional GPU resources quite effectively. While I would usually state that when it comes to video editing, export times are not the most important aspect, the differences we get here might change my opinion a little bit. I took one of our latest videos, actually the full review about the X13, so please check out that one if you have yet to see it, and just did our usual 4K export. In both machines, going from the iGPU to the respective dedicated Nvidia chip netted us export times that have been around 3 times faster than before. And while a few minutes here and there for an edit you spend hours or days on to finalize might make a small difference, going from more than 30 minutes to just about 10 is a pretty substantial improvement. Apart from export time and much more critical when it comes to really working on your videos, timeline performance also improved considerably when allowing the Nvidia GPUs in these two to do the heavy lifting. Both integrated variants cannot play back our footage at a smooth frame rate, so spending the extra time creating proxies is absolutely necessary for a smooth editing experience. Again, this will take a lot of time before you can actually start to get stuff done. That said, you would also have to be realistic with the RTX 4050 and its bigger brother the RTX 4060 in the Flow X13. These might be very powerful, especially given the power envelope in the small chassis we are dealing with today. But still, these are Nvidia's entry-level options. So while editing the talking head portions of our videos is relatively easy on both, a full edit with effects and color grades might make pre-rendering necessary here and there. But if you are serious about filmmaking and video editing, opting for a notebook with a dedicated GPU is almost mandatory. Our Premiere Pro tests back this up as well. And while I do not use Adobe's option, I still did a Puget System benchmark run on the X13 to give you guys more data about this. And the situation is clear here once again. Should you be more into stills, how about the mother of all editing programs? Unfortunately, Photoshop is still not quite up to the task regarding GPU acceleration. So running the Puget Systems benchmark did not reveal any major differences since the CPU is doing most of the work here. That said, Nvidia's chips are not only about pure GPU grunt, but with their dedicated hardware accelerators like their tensor cores for AI supported filters or upscaling functions, they can still give you quite the advantage for more specialized workflows. 
And once again, when it comes to usability, it may sound pretty basic, but your workspace in Photoshop is actually also GPU accelerated, making for a much smoother feel when editing your latest high-risk photos. Should you rather be into creating your very own worlds with the help of CGI tools, it's again not really a competition. As you may have seen in our usual reviews, we always add a render test in Blender with the Classroom benchmark. And going from software rendering running on the CPU to using the RTX 4050 and 4060, well, we are talking minutes versus seconds here. I am personally not a 3D artist and my experience with programs like Blender, Unreal Engine and other industry standards is quite limited. But the numbers here are pretty obvious. To dive deeper into this topic though, we also have a full video coming up in which we teamed up with a proper industry pro for a very fun experiment going from a desktop 4090 to the mobile variant. So make sure to subscribe so you won't miss that one. I also planned to run Octane Bench for some more insight, but that one does not even run without a dedicated GPU, which is saying something too, I guess. And with almost all of the currently used renderers being able to use Nvidia's exclusive hardware features, like their dedicated ray tracing cores in this case, if you plan to get into CGI, well, even the smallest ADA mobile card, the RTX 4050, will save you a lot of time, that you can spend much better than waiting for your renders to finish. Alright folks, it is almost time to wrap this one up for today. While this might be a sponsored video, I can easily get behind the fact that if you are a creator, and it really doesn't matter if you are a pro or just making your first steps in the industry, being able to rely on a system with a dedicated GPU will tremendously improve your experience. I do most of my work almost exclusively on Nvidia equipped notebooks for a video production for this very channel, and I definitely would not want to miss out on the features and reliability. While I am a very techy person, if I need to get stuff done, I do not want to get my gear in the way, but rather make a step in the background so I can focus on my content with a streamlined experience. But please folks, let me know what kind of work you are doing on your notebooks and what kind of projects you have planned that would benefit from a little bit of GPU acceleration. Sound off in the comments below. If you want to learn more about Nvidia's studio program, please head over to their website linked below as well. And if you want to start shopping for a selection of studio validated laptops, Notebooks Billiger got you covered in this regard. This should be it for today. As always, make sure to like this video if you think it was helpful, sub if you are new to the channel, and for our regular reviews, please check out some of our latest videos. Thanks a ton for watching, my name is Alex, you have been awesome, and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.